Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. We're gonna shoot some 410 slugs today, and these are a little bit different. Tony from Texas sent us some 41 Magnum bullets. And what I've done to them is I drilled them out to make them basically foster slugs. They come out after being drilled about 145 grains each. The gun we're using is my H&R Topper Model 98. It's got a fixed full choke. We'll see how these do with a full bore slug. The data is, 19 grains of little gun in a brand new prime fiocchi two mg410 wad bases the bullets weigh 140 to 150 grains each it's a 41 magnum bullet it's just hard cast lead the muzzle velocity should be right around 1750 fps we do have a chrono to test that and these were uh crimped with a bpi roll crimper yes sir. and that's what they look like what are you trying to do there? Oh, I was just going to sit down and shoot the video. Are you ready? I suppose so. I thought you were trying to... Yep, there you go. That's what I thought. Is that the right shell? Looks like it. I feel like it is. <laughs> ready? Alrighty, guys. I've got four of these things here. The 41 cal homemade foster slugs. Let's see how they do at 42 yards. Tyler, wasn't this thing your very first shotgun? Sure was. Jaren's dad got it for me when I was uh, nine. It's been around a while. Y'all ready? Yep. I don't know where it went, but I'm going to hold the same point of aim. I think it went foot and a half low. How are we going to knock these ones out of the barrel? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, these Fiocchi 410 hauls, they aren't very good. They stick almost all the time on us. Anybody got a long stick? Alrighty guys, we've got that little dilemma resolved. Let's see here. Two. The chrono's not reading them. Error. It's just too damn fast. I can't see the impacts from down here. I'm just holding the same point of aim. They're going where they're going. Error every single time. Return fire! Shoot it again, it ain't dead! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's deer season. Uh. Holes look fine. If you yep. can call these things holes. <laughs> all right guys so uh, we don't hide nothing on this channel all right so y'all can watch me do this anyways all righty i've got two right here and two right there and i still can't figure out where the fifth hole came from if he zooms in here it's literally two holes and two holes yeah uh, probably just the wad sticking to the slug. They're hollow base. They're a foster slug now. Right. Anyways, you all seen the hole there. I thought that'd be funny, but there's two and there's two. And I was holding right here, so. Yep. Those holes down there are from spalling from concrete earlier. That one right here, I think it's just another wad impact because there's no hole behind it. All right, guys. We're at home defense distance now. Probably about seven to ten yards. We didn't pace it off or nothing, but... Same load. Let's see what these will do at home defense distance. Same gun, same everything. Different shooter. Whoa. Nope, it hit it hit the blue. Oh, it did. That's a wide impact. So yep. that's what that weird one on mine was too. Got one more. 
You said no recoil. I don't know if you guys have ever played the old Buck Hunter game, but that is exactly what that sounds like. That cartoony, I don't know. It's like a blap. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see how I did. Better than me. All right, let's see here. I definitely have three right here, and I think I shot high that last one, but I really don't know. Nope, there's two holes here. One, two. There's my fourth one. No, these these are all four. That has to be another wad hole. Yeah. That one's a wad hole. Oh, That's crap. definitely a wad hole right there. Those two right there and this one up there. I watched behind. the wad hit them. I watched the wad hit the paper on them. Yeah. Does that make it better? Uh, yeah. Either way, I hit all around the blue. It's good for home defense distance. I'll calculate the muzzle energy. These should have been running right around 1750. <clears throat> Turn around there and stay centered on the patterning board. Okay. This way a little bit. This way a little farther. Now kneel down. Oh, I get you. <laughs> I believe that's a good enough pattern for home defense. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Once again, it's the 41 Cal homemade Foster slugs. Let's see if I can't bust this one inch concrete slab. We're, I don't know, 25, now well, 20, 25 yards. If I can hit it, we'll see what it does. Well. All right, guys, we're going to see what this does at home defense distance. I expect still nothing, but you never know. You ready? Yep. That one broke it. But still just barely. Well. I'm going to shoot that. Okay. I'm going to destroy this thing. Or miss completely. Went right through it. Like butter. Yeah. Well, Jaron, I think you destroyed it pretty well. Well, I don't know how I missed the first one. I don't know how you missed either. <laughs> we couldn't get the chrono to uh, cooperate with us, but the data I was using should have given us 1750 FPS which results in 986 foot-pounds of muzzle energy if the bullet weighed 145 grains, which was the average they come out as. Now, that's pretty respectable, especially out of a 410. And again, this was a 41 Magnum bullet, and they weighed 210 grains before I drilled them out to uh, make them foster slugs, essentially. But 41 Magnum is a really cool round. If you guys don't know what it is, it's right in between the 357 Magnum and 44 Magnum. But the power of it is honestly not that much different than a 44 Magnum. It, the bullet weighs 30 grains less and they're going about the same speed. Very cool round. And here's one of those 41 Magnum bullets I converted to basically foster slugs. Really easy process to do. It took about 5 minutes to do 10 of them just used a hand drill you see there this has nothing to do with shotguns but i just wanted to show you guys a comparison between uh 41 magnum and 44 magnum this is 44 magnum right here a 240 grain bullet moving 1180 fps is carrying 200 or 741 pounds of muzzle energy the standard load for 44 magnum is right below it 240 grain bullet 1475 fps and that carries 1,160 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. And the loads below it are, well, they're heavy loads aside from the middle one closest to the bottom. Now talking about that load, it's a 300 grain bullet moving 1250 FPS for 1,041 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. That's a slightly heavier bullet than what's considered standard in 44 Magnum. Now let's look at the 41 Magnum. So for a light load, we have a 170 grain bullet moving 1275 FPS for a total of 614 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. That's just a little bit less than the 44 had with its lighter loading. Now for the standard load, we have a 210 grain bullet moving 1560 FPS, which gives us 1135 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. So the energy is very close to the 44 mag standard load. It is a lighter bullet, but that bullet is moving a little bit faster 
than the 44 mags standard load. Now those three loads right there are very close in terms of muzzle energy to 44 Magnum. Now with 44, you can get some really heavy loads that are considerably more powerful. I can't find any really heavy 41 Magnum loads as you can with 44. But guys, sorry about the off-topic subject around here. Well, we're ballistics nerds.